It's Wednesday, September the 18th, 2024, and it's time to have some fun with you guys and that guy as well. I'm Jake Kevin Payne. This is Things You Might Ought to Know. This is the fun stuff that we produce for your morning love of fun stuff and knowledge. We have birthdays. We have history lessons. We have a word of the day. We have a celebration. We have fun stuff to get you through the morning or day whenever you get a chance to watch a video. So let's get into it. If you're watching the video, because right now it only is video. We're not doing audio for this one. You see a picture of a smiling Ted Lasso or technically the guy who's playing him, Jason Sudeikis. He's smiling today because he gets a big birthday on the day. Not quite the big one, but getting close. Turning 49 years old on this day is Mr. Sudeikis. Right now, he is the man holding up the next edition of Ted Lasso, whether it, ha whether it will include a Ted Lasso like himself or whether it's like, you know, Valerie Harper and Ted Lasso's family or Ted Lasso's team and he goes away and they redo it without him. Right now, he's the man holding up the production, but, you know, he's living pretty well these days. I think he'll figure it out what's going to happen. I think he'll survive. Also, birthdays today is uh, an actual soccer player, not a fake football coach coaching a fake soccer team. That is Ronaldo. He's 39 years old today. And James Marston, 51 years old today from the X-Men movies and other great things as well, not just Cyclops. Um, but he also does other good stuff, too. Good acting Good guys, these all guys. 18th, about September, 3 old birthdays for these three. A trio of history lesson things to go down for this 18th of September, starting off in 1789, where the American government took out its first ever loan, which is essentially a loan in these days in terms, essentially a starter home style loan. It was only $191,608.81. I'm not sure who's charging 81 cents back in 18, 18, or 1789. But that was the first loan the government took on then. Doesn't seem like it's that much, but it was a fairly early government, being it only had been established about 10 years prior or so. Let's go to 1964, a big jump of 200 or so years, where the Adams Family premiered on ABC. No real relation to um, the loan in this thing, but the sitcom was based on Charles Adams' quirky New Yorker cartoon creations. And it was a, an amazing show um, where... Uh, it was an amazing show for a lot of reasons. It, it, it covered a, a guy named Gomez who you know was technically Hispanic. And as you see now in the iterations they do now, a bunch of Hispanics are playing the Addams Family characters. Uh, they're creaky, they're kooky, they're not quite monsters, they're just really, really spooky. And if you're not down with the original TV show, um, go YouTube it, kids, because it's you know you think you might like Wednesday Addams. You really need to watch the old stuff and watch you know the, the pros take on these things. And on this day in um, 2004, and we've had plenty of news on this lady and this guy because of their divorce and of their child support payments. But this is the day this all thing was spawned, essentially, where Britney Spears married one of her dancers, a guy named Kevin Federline, rising him to fame, success and notoriety, having two kids with him and then divorcing him and taking her money for a long time. And basically for about the last... Um, 18 to 20 years as their youngest child is about to hit 18, but Britney Spears will still pay child support because of Hawaii. We talked about that a few days ago. Let's talk about something else, something more engaging, something more along the lines that's inter that's entertaining, but educational. And that is this word for the day. And you can find more words today at our project, the big words project, big words project.com. Today's word is corpulent, 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 corpulent. A large or bulky of body or portly or stout or fat. Let's just say fat. Copulate means fat. The copulate bear had clearly found a rich food source to prepare for the winter hibernation. The bear was fat. More words like this can be found at our website, thebigwordsproject.com. And of course, more words you can keep on your desk. I need to keep copies of it on my desk so I can just pull one and show you. Uh, the Big Words Project project, which is big words you ought to know. One dollar from each of those books sold, which you can find via Amazon or the links here inside of this thing here. Uh, you can find, you can, um, we send a dollar to a book program here in Arkansas. So when you buy a book on words, we send a dollar to kids to learn more words. How about that? That should goad you into buying one of those books. Should make you feel about that. You know, I'm not going to play um, Sarah McLaughlin, but yeah, go buy a book. You can also buy one of these books. And these books is my book I have that's called 100 Daily Affirmations for Positivity and Confidence. You can search for that uh, online at Amazon, or you can click the link inside the presentation as well. Today's affirmation, 
I am calm, patient, and in control of my emotions. It encourages positive shift in emotions. What do you think? This affirmation helps you encourage a positive shift in your emotions, making you feel lighter, happier, and free, which contributes to overall well-being and mental health. It's one of those situations, and I say often, a lot of these things, they're not so much band-aids, but they are reminders that things are better than you may see them in the moment. If you make, if you make yourself smile, it makes you feel better. If you do something nice for someone else, you feel better in the process. If you remind yourself that in a pan cause of panic, a time of panic, that you're actually calm and you actually have plenty of patience and you have total control of your emotions, you may not seem like it in the moment, but you will gain back control of your emotions. It really is that simple. If you don't believe in affirmations, check out the book because there's a chapter to start off that explains why affirmations are so important. I should probably do a post on that and put it in here so you can see that. Affirmations, they don't work for everybody because it's like hypnotism. You have to kind of believe what you want to believe. However, it is a thing where your daily affirmations, something to remind yourself every day, things are better than they might seem in the moment. Time to celebrate a good time. It's a great time for Rice Krispie Treats Day. Rice Krispie Treats Day is on this day, the unofficial holiday dec declared to the no-bake, quick-make, uh, yummy, gooey, sweet treat. Since treat is so easy to make, it has become a staple of favorites of millions of households in the U.S., and they eat them daily. Now, here's the, the kicker on these things. Rice Krispies, as a name brand, not just uh, uh, crisp rice, is a name brand. So you call them Rice Krispie Treats because that's what they call them. Now, back in the day, Everyone had to make them at home. So it was melting marshmallows and butter and putting them together and spreading them out and putting them in the refrigerator and having your own homemade rice krispie treats because it was a thing. Now, since they're basically sold in supermarkets, nobody actually makes rice krispie treats unless they're doing it for, unless they're like a, a, a baker, a confectioner who's doing special stuff on their own. And, and this is something that we may do just to kind of goof around and see if we can make different rice krispie treats here at home because we like to create and bake and do fun stuff. But essentially, you can buy the Rice Krispies treats right off the shelf in the store, so no need to take the time to bake them. But it's a good day to celebrate the Rice Krispies treats, whether you want to make them homemade, and trust me, those are the best way to do it because you can sugar them up as much as you want to, or just get a handful from the convenience store and chop them up. If this is not the treat for you, it's also Red Velvet Cake Day and Cheeseburger Day. Today, cheeseburgers will be consumed. I'm pretty sure I will find a Rice Krispie treat, and Red Velvet Cakes aren't too hard to find. So I think we'll have a trifecta on today and a very, very big sugar rush going forward for Jay Cleveland. Now, Jay Cleveland needs you to um, engage, help him engage in the sugar rush, but also needs you to help him spread the love and joy of the conversation project and things you might not, things you might ought to know. This one here in particular, we want you to like the video uh, because it's likable. You know what it's like. Well, go ahead and like the video. Share it with other folks so that people who are either not seeing this uh, directly because they're, they haven't found, figured out that we've split the, the things for the news stuff and the fun stuff, or they just might enjoy more fun stuff, weren't really news fans, and you think they'll get this, a kick out of this one. And if you just stumbled upon us or someone sent this to you, subscribe so you don't miss it. We try to push this out so that it's published a little bit after the live feed pushing of the things you might might have heard so that as soon as you finish watching that you can look and say oh there's the fun stuff let me watch the fun stuff or you can watch it later we are doing this to split the time so that the news and the fun stuff take up less time in your day and split up very easily so far we're getting some pretty good comments on that so you can also comment on the video and tell us if it's working or if you want them all together some people would like them all together we're trying to find a way to still present them in a succinct manner but we're, we're right now, we need you to like what we're shooting right now. Share it with other folks so they get this condensed version. It's not really condensed. It's just, just the, the fun stuff. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And be back for the Thursday edition. We're wrapping up Wednesday for September 18, 2024. Thursday edition with birthdays, with history lessons, and fun stuff to do. A great celebration will happen tomorrow. So have fun. Love you guys. Mean it. Like, share, and subscribe. And join us tomorrow for another edition of Things You Might Not Have Heard. That's the one thing. And this thing here, things you might ought to know, which is the fun stuff every single weekday morning.